today we're going to be giving you Greg's grilled salmon recipe. We're going to be giving you our tips to grill salmon on charcoal. We'll be setting the Weber kettle up for an indirect cook. Also hitting it with a little bit of fruit wood just to get a slight smoke taste in our salmon. This is going to be the best grilled salmon recipe you've ever had. All your recipes are the best, Greg. I know. Per you. Because I'm that good. I mean, it's good. All my recipes are great. What are you talking about? They're tolerable. No, they're fantastic. They're tolerable after you write down the 35 ingredients. I'm done with you. Welcome back to another episode. Welcome of back. <laughs> Stop it. Welcome back to another episode of Bluff City Grub. Today we're cooking salmon. Seven and a half pounds, Greg. You bought a whole side of salmon. Right. On the kettle. That's, that's how we roll. Not even big enough. No, that's how we roll, man. I can't believe you bought seven and a half pounds of salmon. We're not even making money off this yet. I mean, we're not. But I mean, the salmon's gonna be buying. delicious. How many people you have live here? Two. Know. All right. Well, I got a kid too. Four. We're to four now. We got. We got. We got left up. Got leftovers. Yeah. So today we're cooking salmon on a Weber kettle. We're gonna do a whole side of salmon for you guys. We're gonna give you some of our best tips and techniques to portion your salmon out properly for a large crowd, but cook it whole. Well, that makes more sense. If you're cooking for a large crowd, then maybe you do want seven pounds of salmon. Cook the whole side. I have to cook the whole side of salmon. I still can't believe you're cooking seven pounds of salmon on a Weber. The Weber Mini. Not big enough. That's how we roll, man. All right, so we got a whole side of salmon here. We're gonna go ahead and get it prepped up. This is one of the best tips I can give you when you're cooking a whole side of salmon for a large crowd. You wanna go ahead and perforate it, pre-cut slices, before you actually throw it on the grill. This is what I do. I go all the way down just to the skin and just do a little perforations because when you actually cook the salmon, it's gonna flake. So if you want portion out salmon for your guests, just go ahead and pre-cut it before you actually throw it on the grill. Whole side of salmon is pre-cut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it. Just pour a little bit on there, just rub it all over it. I like to get the back side of it too. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make her glaze for our salmon. It's really gonna set this salmon off. And so we have three quarters of, of a cup of mayo here. And we're gonna put a little bit of Dijon mustard in here. And don't worry, I have this uh, recipe in the description below. We're gonna put this in here and mix it up. A little Dijon mustard. Also, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of brown sugar. A little bit of onion powder. A little coarse salt and fresh ground pepper. And then we're gonna put some fresh dill in there as well. Okay, I didn't think we'd make it a whole video without some fresh herbs from you. Looks like we're not. Nope, not happy. All right, so we're gonna give this a little mix up here. So now what we're gonna do is give a nice generous portion of salt right there on top of the salmon. And you want to do this right before you cook it. You don't want to salt the salmon, you know, 30 minutes, 50 minutes before. You want to do it right before you're actually going to throw it on the grill because it'll actually dry out the salmon if you do it earlier. A little fresh pepper. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our mustard glaze and we're going to kind of spoon this on top of the salmon. And we're going to paint it nicely. temperature is at 307 and that's right where we want to be you want to be in between 300 and 330 that's probably your ideal temperature to cook the salmon on the Weber kettle 
All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our foil, which we doubled up. We got two layers of foil here. What we're gonna do is just kind of make a little bit of a boat for our salmon. Just kind of fold the sides up, none of the juices run out, and just kind of contain the salmon a little bit. Hey, Greg, did you have to cut that salmon off so it fit? I did. I, I told did. you it wouldn't fit. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> I love it when I'm right. Make a little boat for it. All right, so we're gonna take this salmon, we're gonna put it on the grill. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our side of salmon on the grill. Like I said, you wanna put it, we're doing indirect here, so you wanna put it opposite the side of the fire where the smoke's going. We're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes or so, and then we're gonna rotate it. It's been rolling for about 20 minutes right now. Look at the color on this thing, man. It's starting to get a lot of smoke flavor. Those lemons are starting to break down a little bit. Look at this thing, man. I mean, man, I wanna eat it right now, but it's not done. We gotta rotate it. Get the other side close to the fire so it can kind of cook evenly. So what we're gonna do, and this is why we put the foil on there. We don't have to worry about fish sticking to the grill. We can just rotate that foil right on over. Tell you what, I like how that didn't stick. That was nice, Greg. You like that? Just I like, like that. that. Boom. We're gonna like shut the lid on this. We've been smoking for about 30 to 45 minutes on this salmon. Oh man, that's looking delicious. I love it. It's a nice color on it. It's looking really good. We're going to tip this guy. All right, perfect. We're looking for right around 150, 145, 150. That's what you want to see in your salmon. It's it's cooked perfectly. We're going to go ahead and get this guy off the grill, let it rest up for a second. And that's what we got this foil here for. You just pick the whole thing up and pull it right off the grill, just like that. Easy peasy, let it squeeze it. 